Alright, I am back again, and I've tried to do a video or two, and I have wound up deleting it because I didn't like the way it was going, and plus with work the way it is, uh, we're speeding up, so it's getting kind of miserable, and um, I've got a couple things I want to hit on today, and they basically both center around how seemingly incompetent and ineffective the Biden administration is proving to be. Uh, when I was in school, I remember I had a teacher. He said, it was the American polit my American politics professor, he said that a president's greatest power is the power of pers persuasion. And I think uh, Biden's definitely fallen short on that. Over the past few weeks, there have been a number of unidentified, you know, UFOs. That's what they're labeled as. Balloons and whatnot. And the first one was able to go, they believed was a spy balloon, that was able to go and fly entirely across the country and basically complete its mission before anything was done. Now, supposedly, Biden wanted it taken care of immediately, but it didn't happen. And I do apologize for the glare, and nothing I can do about it. But yeah, Biden supposedly wanted it taken care of immediately, and it didn't happen. They waited until it was in the ocean, I guess, was presumably because, oh, it would, if it fell and hit something, it could cause damage. Well... There have been, what, three other incidents? One of them was uh, shot down over water and two um, over land. That argument's out of the window. And what's the update with it? They've obviously had to have retrieved the first one by now uh, and begun some sort of anal analysis. What's going on with it? Also, you know, last week there was a uh, train, I believe by Norfolk Southern, a Class 1 railroad, federally regulated, um, carrying some sort of toxic chemical. I won't even attempt to pronounce the name of it. I wouldn't do it if I could remember it, but I'm bad with names. And, you know, it, the plane thing blew up and putting toxic toxic chemicals into the air and into the water. It'll cause uh, uh, acid rain when it rains. There's already fish in streams dying. They're talking the overall impact could affect over 2 million people, I believe it is. And you rarely hear about, you hear little to nothing about it on the news. It's not the you would think something this major would be everywhere. Take back 2015 when uh, the EPA released all that water uh, toxic uh, contaminated water into the Colorado River. That was in the, that had major news covering it. There's nothing with this. You would think the president, the EPA, the, uh, transportation Department of Transportation, someone would be making comments about it. Nothing. And that's really the biggest highlight I have to say about this. In both scenarios, you have people afraid. You have people pissed off. And a whole host of things. You know, they're afraid of an impending attack on the United States. They're afraid for their lives, their homes, their children. Every, all these things are going through their minds. And where's the leadership of this country? Biden, from what I can tell, is at a uh, retreat for Democrat lawmakers, I believe is where he might be. Um, that's what someone said. I don't know that for certain. Um, but one thing he's not is making a press conference about these things. Uh, old Pete Buttigieg is... Uh, now... Uh, that's because that's the only way I can remember his name. Um, he 
finally surfaced today to do a question and answer session and nothing was mentioned about the railroad accident. You don't hear anything about the EPA. You know, if, if these things had happened under Trump, you could not get him and his administration to shut up about giving details. You would be just like, please shut the fuck up. And he would still be up there talking. Now, granted, there would be a ton of grandstanding. Like, there has never been an economic disaster or anything like this, but we have the best res uh, response. We have this, everything would be the best, you know, every way in the world to grandstand. There would be a ton of that. But you would know as much details as he could release, and probably some he pro shouldn't have been releasing. And this is for the uh, balloon incident as well as the railroad incident. That's one thing you can honestly say about him is that you didn't have to worry about the transparency about getting information. Sometimes not only did you get way more information than really needed to be released, but sometimes he was releasing it quicker than it really, sometimes it needed to be released. And you're getting the exact opposite opposite of that now. And when you have people worried about their homes, their livelihoods, their health, well-being, their family's health and well-being, the overall safety and welfare of the country, the um, envi environment, you have all these things going through people's minds. And when the people need the government leader, the government's leadership the I, for this particular scenario is when they their leadership is needed the most they're gone that's what bothers me I'll try and remember to put some links uh, in the description below to some of this stuff as I can find them um also, word is they're putting out uh, travel bans or something or other uh, to Russia and requesting everyone in Russia to, all Americans in Russia to, you know, kind of leave. I believe they did something similar to that in Turkey before the earthquake. Um, closed down the consulate and whatnot, so I'm I'm kind of curious. I'm wondering what's fixing to go down in Russia. Is it going to be another natural disaster? Or are they uh, going to be ramping things up on the um, uh, military front? And I'll see if I can find a link to that as well. Um, yeah. I'll throw that in the description as well as if I can find one. I saw that on Twitter um, at, while I was at work, so there's a chance it may be bullcrap, and if it is, I'll be sure and put a um, a uh, retraction in the, in the description. Uh, for transparency's sake, anyway, let me know what you think. Do you honestly think the leadership in this country right now is in the direction it needs to be. Do you think the this administration is being as transparent as it could be? And do you think right now a lot of people are hell-bent on trying to start a war with Russia? Personally, the average Russian, I have no issue with. I have no issue with Russia itself. I have no issue with, you know, every person I've ever met from Russia has been pretty cool, actually. My issue with Russia is at least key members of their government, but, I mean, I have that issue with uh, basically every government. Anyway, let me know what you think. Later.